Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey McIntosh. Welcome to another video here on my channel where we talk about everything related to poor tea. So today we're going to go into the, some of the nuances of preparing raw poor. I'll share with you two tips that have helped me immensely when trying to brew a tea so it can reach its full potential. So obviously when we encounter new teas, we want to be careful of water temperature, how long we steep the tea, and then the tea to water ratio. All of those are really adjustable variables that can change the outcome of the flavor and the experience of the tea we're drinking. So with raw pour in particular, there are a few other things you can also do to enhance the experience. So when we brew tea, of course, we can go ahead and start to brew it in. We want to be very gentle when we pour it into the gaiwan. Also, you'll notice that I fulfill the gaiwan to its full, just to get a really nice tea to water ratio in there. Now with raw, I always like to brew tea a little bit on the lighter side, sometimes between two, three, maybe upwards to four grams, but I definitely start with a low tea ratio. Then as I get more familiar with that tea, I increase the temperature, I increase the steeping times, then I can always add a little more tea. But what I just did there is extremely, extremely important. After the first infusion, the second, third, in fact, any infusion you finish with raw pour, it is very, very important to remove the lid from the guy I want. And it seems like such a small thing. But by doing that, it allows the tea to breathe, and more importantly, the guy want in the tea to cool down. If we leave the lid on the guy want in between infusions, you might trap a little too much heat, and you might risk kind of overcooking the tea. You can kind of relate this to if you're cooking food, right? You don't want to burn the food. There's no way to recover that, right? If you burn it, it burn it. It's going to be ruined for that period on, right? It's going to taste bad. You're not going to be able to fix it. Same with tea. And so if we use too high of a temperature and it stays too hot for too long period of time, you kind of risk kind of burning the tea. You essentially aren't really burning it, but you're going to produce a tea that's maybe bitter and dry. And you can avoid that by simply removing the lid after each infusion. So with raw, because it's so delicate, especially younger raw, you want to be very careful with how you brew the tea. So we know water temperature, tea to water ratio, how long we steep it. And now we know, always remove that lid in between infusions. So let's have a cup here. I mean, that's really what you're looking for in a young raw. It should be very comfortable, very thirst quenching, very refreshing, right? Bitterness, astringency are usually not desirable characteristics, right? At least for the teas I look, at, I look for. I don't want those characteristics. But sometimes I encounter a very good tea that I've had good experiences with, and then later down the road, it's kind of bitter and dry. Why would that happen? Well, one is the lid on top. The other reason a tea might become dry in later steeping. So if we fast forward it to steep number five and six, and we know we had a very good tea, maybe from old tea trees, maybe it was from a very good region, very good year, and then the fifth and sixth infusion was a little dry. One way you can avoid that dryness is to make sure that in between infusions, so we did one infusion, that in between the second infusion and the third infusion, I'm letting the tea rest without water, maybe up to a minute, maybe up to two minutes. I don't want to be doing one infusion, two infusions, three infusions, back to back to back. If you do infusions too closely together, you will create bitter and dryness, especially dryness in the later steepings. You can avoid that by spacing out your infusions. 
So I hope those two tips can be very beneficial the next time you encounter a raw pour, maybe a raw pour you really have liked in the past, but recently it's been a little dry and you're not sure why. Remember to remove the Gaiwan lid, and secondly, allow time in between infusion, at least a minute, if not more, where the tea is not infused with the water. So space out those infusions. Remember to always remove that Gaiwan lid, and you might notice that tea's a little bit less dry in later steepings. So I do hope that's very helpful for you all. If you all have some very useful raw pour tips, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and looking forward to seeing you all in my next